Hello, happy friends. Are you ready to learn? Today, we're going to learn about... Wait, just listen. Sounds good, huh? Today, we're going to learn about the sound. The sounds exist. We need three things. We need something or someone to produce the sound, like this guitar. A medium through which it's transmitted, like the air. And then, of course, we need an ear to perceive the sound. When I play my guitar strings, I produce vibrations that travel into our ears through waves and that's why we hear them. Sound speed depends on the medium it travels through. In solids, like iron, it travels at a great speed. In liquids, like water, it travels a little bit slower. And in gases, like air, it travels the slowest. But if sounds are waves, why do we recognise sounds when we hear them? Why do we recognise our parents' voice when we hear them? Why do we recognise a dog's bark? It's easy peasy. We recognise sounds because of their properties and characteristics. There are three properties. Intensity, pitch and timber. Intensity lets us identify if a sound is loud or soft. Thanks to the pitch, we can tell if the sounds are high-pitched or low-pitched. By timber, we can identify what or who is producing the sound. For example, if it's being produced by a flute, a guitar, a dog, or a cat. And lastly, before I say goodbye, here's a fun fact. Do you know what echo is? Echo is when sound waves bump against an obstacle and they change their direction. Shortly after, we can hear the sound repeatedly. So that's an echo. I'm sure you've heard it more than once, but if you haven't, listen up. Happy learning! Happy learning! Happy learning! Happy learning! So cool! Goodbye, happy friends! I hope you're always ready to learn more. Goodbye!